I need advice on getting my 17 year old younger brother to get out and start building himself into a man. He is somewhat red pill aware. He finds the leftist ideo ideologies disturbing, but he currently just sits at home and plays video games. Um, he's homeschooled by a sheltering middle-aged mom and his father works all day and is too busy slash too blue pilled to get him to go out and do something. Hmm. Go beat his ass. You're the elder brother. Hmm. Yeah. I'm 23 and he's 17. Okay. Why, why are you not like picking him up and bringing him out with you? Why are you not like kicking him in the ass? Or do you have something better to do? Well, I have a, I have a 40 hour a week job, but I mean, yeah, I never thought, what do you mean by kicking his well, ass? Who else exactly? is going to do, who else is going to do it? Who else is going to incentivize him? Because there's no incentive for him to do anything other than what he's doing right now. Yeah. If you're worried about his condition, yeah. you're worried about his state, then uh, like guys in that situation, especially if you're his brother, you're his blood brother, right? I mean, you, I'm not saying it's your duty. You can decide whether it's your duty or it's not. But I would, I would say like, like, why are you not like just picking him up and taking him out places? Or why are you not like uh, it being competitive with him or smacking him around or what, I don't know, whatever. But like, I, I, it's not saying that that's like the cure to it, but like you get him out of that routine and get him out of that habit and that, you know, um, that, that situation that he's in. Cause who else is going to, who else is going to do it? Tell me who else will, will bring him out of that besides you. Yeah, for sure. So, I think, so do you mean by taking them out by like taking them to go do like, Anything. Or something like that, like, or like, 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 like Jim. Uh, hey, bro, you, you just got to listen, man. Just fucking go into the house, take his fucking PlayStation, throw that shit out the window. Yeah. Like, yo, that's what that, when I, I remember when I was growing up, I, I played too much video games. That's what my dad did to me, bro. And you just fucking, hey, what the fuck are you doing? Stop being a fucking loser, blah, blah, blah. Like, yo, I, this is going to sound terrible, but mm. you got to fucking bully your little brother, women, bro. Because it's better than you that you bully him than someone else really bully him for right. real. And and he won't be able to fucking figure out what the hell's going on. It's better that he gets a, gets you know you know um, a little pain now, a for little a pain lot of now pain later within within the safety confinement of his older brother than someone for real giving him real pain and he can't defend himself or he doesn't know how to move around in the real world. Like it, like you He's must. Sedated is what this he is why is. bullying is so fucking important because you gotta teach guys how to not be fucking pussies you know like and here's the thing his mom he's sitting there with his mom she's bringing him cookies and shit probably he's playing video games she's fucking making him soft yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. she's making him soft it's your job as older brother something. to go in there and tell him yo stop being a fucking pussy what the hell are you doing throw his fucking playstation out the window start a project find something that you some shared activity that you both do that he say hey yeah can you put that away for a little while we're gonna go fix the fucking carburetor on the car, whatever it is, like find something that you both share, like some sort of common activity that you like, because that will put you in a, it, it, it removes him from the sedated environment of playing video games and I don't know, smoking weed or whatever the fuck he's doing right now. It pulls him out of that and you're actually doing something. So like when men communicate, they communicate by doing women communicate by talk, women talk, men do. Right. Yeah. So there's the, uh, there's that aspect of it. the other part is that, that I get is this is I, and I agree with Justin Wallace when he says this like you know nobody's coming to save you bro like he was saying that that was the most liberating time of his life is when he finally you know it, he was able to wrap his head around that but then on the same token it's like well but we also have this group of men who are here to like sort of lift you up and pull you out of all of that and it's like well do i have a tribe or am i on my own and i think really it's very important particularly when it's your brother who's your blood bro blood brother if you feel like you have a duty or if you wouldn't be calling into this show if you weren't concerned about him. So take that same initiative you took to call this show and use that to go and drag him out of that, start a project, even if it doesn't matter what the hell it is, it's just the intent of it is to pull him away out of that environment and put him into another environment where you can actually communicate with him and talk with him. We just mentioned before, burn a performance, which means this is also your task as well. If you really care about your brother that much, then it's on you to make, make sure he gets the right training, the right, uh, type of like, I guess, like environment he, he should be growing because look, we get it. He lives with his, his dad is not, not that well, but you as the guy that knows the truth, <laughs> let's beat take, his ass first, <laughs> take him up to the gym, take him shooting, take yeah. him to like man stuff. And by default, him seeing you doing, okay, cool. My brother's a big brother. I want to be like it's simple. Yeah. Also the other thing too, bro, you got to remember like my little brother, he, like he looks up to me. You also have to be a good example too. Yeah. Like if you're a fucking loser, Mm -hmm. Your brother's gonna be like, the fuck, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna follow you. Like, you, you're a fucking loser. So, yeah. so, like, when I tell my little brother, yo, you need to do this or whatever, he doesn't question me because it's like, what the fuck? Like, he knows I'll slap the shit out of him. You know what I mean? And that's kind of how you guys have to be. You have to be the example that your brother wants to strive to be. So, 
you know, you it also it comes from a you got to come from a position of authority as the older brother too. You can't tell him, yo, I need you to do this or yo, stop playing video games, blah blah. blah but you're a triple chin fat piece of shit yourself. So you mm-hmm. got to make sure you're on point, so you can go ahead and tell him, I need you to get on point. Because he's always going to look back at you and be like, well, what about you? You're a fucking loser too. Mm-hmm. So you need to be the example as well. Even in religion, people change not because of what you say, but because of what you do. When they see you yeah. as an approved mm-hmm. individual, fitness, health, life, mm-hmm. they're like, you know what? That's how I want to live. I want to live as well. Yeah. So D- demonstrate, do not explicate. It's what I tell like guys when they ask me about like, oh, when yeah. should I give my 12 year old son the rational male? I'm like, don't. I'm like, live, live it out so yeah. he can see it happen. Like exemplify this. Do not uh, do not explicate. You need to demonstrate. And it. he's going to have questions by seeing your, your yeah, life exactly and you wait for your moments and yeah. you lead yeah. the witness and you have those conversations at like intentionally so yeah. i would say the same thing and here's my other thing is like the fact that you took the time to call in here means that you know you already know what the situation is with your mom you already know what the situation is with your dad are they going to do anything probably not so who who el- who else is there and i'll tell you this if you don't do something you will feel the effects the downstream effects of whatever happens to that guy, to your brother as a result of you take not your inaction with your brother. Yeah. Yeah. You got to be the example, my friend as well. You yeah. know, you got to be a winner yourself so that you can go ahead and tell them, Hey, this is what it is. Cause he'll just look at you and be like, what the fuck? You're a fucking dork. I'm not listening to you. Mm-hmm. 